everybody my name is natalie and welcome to the start of another vlog so this one is going to be a little bit different i feel like i've been starting to explore different things with my reading lately um i've been not reading as much fantasy granted i still love fantasy it's still my favorite genre but i am starting to add other things into my reading lineup which has been really fun i've been having a lot of fun exploring different genres different subgenres. so if you can't tell by the title this is the vlog where i explore the monster romance genre i've only read one monster romance and it was um the dragon's bride by katie robert which i really enjoyed that book i had such fun with it i buddy read it with my friends it was a good time. I was actually surprised with how much I liked it and it was it was a good time. So I've been wanting to kind of read some more monster romances to see what like what what's going on in this little subgenre um, because I feel like I've been seeing it a lot lately and there's just I didn't realize how big of a subgenre this was. There's a lot of books that are about monster romances. So that's what we're doing in this vlog is just reading some of those. I really don't have a plan for this video. I'm kind of going to wing this one. I don't have a set TBR. I have an idea of a couple of books that I want, want to read. I literally just went on Kindle Unlimited like Amazon website and typed in monster romances and just kind of started looking at what popped up and there was quite a few options. So I think I'm just going to kind of pick as I go through these and just again see what's out there the first one i did already start and it was the one that i was like hey if i kind of like this one i'm gonna do this vlog type thing and yeah that's kind of how i made the decision so this one is called monsters under my bed and it is uh, part of a series it's called the boogeyman series and it's pretty short it's only like 200 pages very easy to get through i'm already over halfway through this one and i'm surprisingly enjoying it i need to stop being surprised that i enjoy things because at the end of the day i don't really like i haven't read enough monster romances to kind of understand which ones i could like which ones i don't like and i really need to go into these books without having expectations um but I don't know when books are like 200 pages especially romances i guess my expectation is for it to just be like super smutty and that's it but i'm pleasantly surprised because this one has a lot of built up it has just like some good development into building up who these boogeyman are to this woman so this one is about this girl who when she was young she was constantly visited every single night by these three male figures and they were kind of like boogeyman monsters hiding under her bed type situation and they visited her i think it started when she was like 15 all the way until she was 18 and something happened one night and she ended up just like running away from home she left the country she never went back home never wanted to and all of a sudden her dad has a heart attack so she has to go back home and that's kind of where she gets reintroduced to them you kind of see her fear and the build-up of what happened that night that she like decided to run away so it there's some good build-up in here and i'm really enjoying it so far it's not it's definitely starting to get into a darker romance i feel like that's what this is i feel like it definitely has some dark themes dark elements so if you're not into that this one probably isn't for you but it is not just smut the whole book there is some build up and i appreciate that and i like that but they are still monsters so there are just some things that are still weird whenever you get those smutty scenes um but when you're reading mon monster romances that is the expectation that those scenes are going to be really freaking weird so yeah i'm gonna finish this one today like i said it's a really quick read so i'm just gonna knock it out i have no idea what i'm gonna read next yeah i'm i'm just i'm having a good time and so let's go on this adventure together and 
see how it turns out. So I finished Monsters Under My Bed. Um, it was a quick read. I did enjoy it a little bit, but I will say, I feel like the plot got kind of boring throughout the book. And I wish, I don't know, I wish that part would have been a little bit more interesting and kept up pace. Cause I feel like I was really interested in the first like 50% when Alexis was going back to her hometown and we were learning kind of what happened in her past and she was in the human world, but then she transitioned into their world and I was not crazy about the world building or like the whole plot that was going on because I don't know I feel like I would have preferred the plot that was kind of going on in the background there to be a little bit more in the background but it there was just so much going on that I feel like I don't know the explanations kind of got lost also I don't think it helped that there was points of views from the monsters points of view as well as Alexis in this book I would have much preferred it just to be her point of view because it just kind of feel like it jumped around a lot and in this one the points of view weren't written in a way that really distinguished each monster and then Alexis so it was just kind of all a little bit convoluted because of that but ultimately it was it was a pretty solid start I don't think I'll continue with the series because I think that there is two other books in the series but I'm not interested enough and the kind of plot twist at the end really didn't intrigue me enough to want to continue but it was a fun time it was enjoyable i'm gonna move on to the next one so i have some updates i have been i well i kind of just have not been keeping up with updating y'all as much as i should have been because i did finish another monster romance book um it was a really short one, so it was a really quick read. It was called Take It by the Dragon. Um, I'll pop a picture of the cover up here. But this one was interesting. It was very interesting. I, I liked it. It was really cute. It was very insta-lovey, which I wasn't crazy for, but also it was only 200 pages. So makes sense that it was like that. But these characters were just so innocent and so sweet and I loved their story it was the cutest thing ever this one definitely is not like, super smutty it definitely falls more into like the romance of a monster romance and it was just cute it was so wholesome and cute and we also have a blind main character which was great um I loved seeing that and I just it was just it was so cute that's all i can really say about it it was a fun read it was really entertaining i really liked the characters individually and i think had the romance not been so insta lovey i think i would have liked the romance even more than i did there just wasn't as much development because there wasn't a lot of time to develop that kind of love i guess in 200 pages but yeah i really liked this story this one was about this girl who she lives in this village and every year they make a sacrifice to the dragon um just to just so they don't like you know get destroyed by the dragon so this happens every year he takes a a girl and this time what was her name? Alara. Alara is her name. And she, her sister is actually sacrificed. She ends up taking her sister's place because her sister is going to get married and have a life and all of that stuff. So she feels like she does not have that type of commitment to, like in her in her daily life. Like the only people she has is her sister and so she of course wants to save her sister so she ends up going and sacrificing herself to the dragon and it's kind of like a beauty and the beast type retelling but you know he has a curse on him so that's kind of what all this boils down to is that he has this curse and so the curse is what drives his need to take a woman from the village every year and it's just it's a really cute story i really liked how the 
like the plot moved forward it was it was super cute there was some good world building and i'm interested to kind of see what's going to happen in the other books because there are multiple books in this series i think there's like five or six and i'm pretty sure they're pretty short i might continue on with it um i know that there's going to be like a mermaid one i think there's a fae one um like an elf one so there's like a couple of like different creatures within this series so i might continue on with it just to kind of see what what is going on what is what is happening next in the series um but yeah this one was just like really wholesome and i think that if you're looking for a monster romance that's not super smutty like this one's definitely like a good one it's just if you're looking for like a cute time you're not too adverse to insta love like just it's cute read it the next one i'm currently reading completely different <laughs> completely different story um this one is called ravage by monsters and it is the first book in a series called dark temptations i believe it's just a duology so that's cool um it is by ann denton and katie may so this one is really interesting i actually really like the the premise of the book it is very much a dystopian monster romance which i was not expecting i didn't think it would like give away the dystopian vibe but it totally does this takes place after monsters have basically taken over the world from humans and humans are basically like at the bottom of the food chain and monsters are at the top our main character um she goes on like this hunting mission scavenging mission because that's how they have to live that's how the humans have to live they are hiding like in hiding from the monsters that's like the dynamic that exists in this world and she ends up getting captured by these monsters that basically sell humans to other monsters so <laughs> she ends up getting sold to the most powerful like monsters in i guess what i don't know if it's like a city town i don't really know how that is laid out um but they're very powerful they're kind of like the leaders of the community and they all end up buying her so this is a reverse harem romance and this one's just like it's fun it is really fun i'm surprised how fun it is i thought it would be actually a darker romance than it is it's pretty lighthearted for the most part right now not a lot is happening it's just kind of like banter between the main characters and the guys and it's just it's kind of a fun time so i am currently um over 50 percent into this book this one reads really quickly it is i think almost 400 pages so it's definitely lengthier than the other ones I have read for this this vlog, but it's quick. It's a quick read. I'm enjoying it so much. Um, and the one thing that I don't like, <laughs> the one thing that is throwing me off is I cannot get these guys straight <laughs> uh, because they have their own point of views and I get so confused as to like who is who. I feel like I really wish that the point of views were a little bit more just differentiated because it is really confusing and knowing who has what powers and kind of like what's going on because that part the introduction of like telling you hey this is the guys and what they can do it's very like info dump to you kind of at the beginning and info dump to our main character like at the beginning when she gets bought so i i didn't really have like a a really good grasp of like who is who and who can do what so i'm still trying to figure that out a little bit whenever i get to their point of views i'm like wait has this guy seen her has he not and it's it's like that right now because they're all kind of spread out they're kind of at the point where they're fighting over her and they haven't really like figured out the dynamic so right now it's not quite yet to the point where it is a reverse harem it's just like it's it's building up to that point where everyone's trying to figure out what's going on like the guys are confused obviously the heroine has no idea what's going on she's just like 
stuck in a room trying to figure out what the hell is going on. So it's just a really fun time. Um, not a lot of like smut yet, which I'm kind of appreciating because I like that there is a little bit of time taken to like introduce the guys and introduce the characters. Um, I always like when that is part of it and there's kind of like an equal balance between plot and smut. But yeah, I have a feeling this book, whenever the smut does hit and it does happen, it's gonna, it, like I said, it's gonna be a complete 180 from the book that I just read for this vlog, Taken by the Dragon, that was so innocent and barely had any smut. <laughs> this one is probably just gonna be like, the last 30% is probably just gonna all be smut. Um, but that's okay. This is what I signed up for. This is what I am, have signed up to read. I'm finally gonna like wrap up this vlog. It has been, it's been a minute. Um, <laughs> so I have just had so many things going between school, all the vlogs that are like, I'm trying to just like keep straight that I have not been doing a very good job at like ending my vlogs. So. I finally finished the last book for this vlog. So the last book I was reading was Ravaged by Monsters. If I'm sure y'all remember, because that was like two seconds ago. For me, it was like a couple weeks ago. Um, so I, this one was, it was interesting. I feel like I really liked how it started. Uh, the first like 50% was good. And then I don't know, the last 50% wasn't bad. It just like wasn't great. I really wish in this case that more focus had been put on all of the things that were going on in the background. Cause there was a lot of like uh, supposed like rebellion between the monsters and you had, cause in this world, the monsters, like there are levels with the monsters of like power levels. You had the higher powered monsters going and killing the lower powered monsters so that they could get stronger. That was what was going on in the background. I wish more time had been taken to kind of like focus on that and we could have seen it a bit more. I think it would have added a really interesting element to the story, but we just kind of heard about it in the background. And a lot of the book, the girl was in a room. So there wasn't a lot of interaction between like all of the guys. I mean, overall, I did enjoy the book. I just kind of wish that the, we would have gotten a little bit more into the political part of like, what's going on with the monsters because I think it would have ended up being really interesting. Also, this book ended on a cliffhanger. <laughs> um, so that was great. I haven't decided if I'm going to read the second book. I'm pretty sure it's just a duology. But yeah, I just kind of wish that honestly, this could have been one book, in my opinion. And I just wish she wouldn't have spent so much time in her room because um, she was locked in her room for like a good amount of the book. Um, and so I just think that that time could have been used. We could have seen so much of the world. I did enjoy it, it just wasn't my favorite. I feel like I didn't come out of this vlog like having a new favorite. They were all just kind of okay. I enjoyed my time when I was reading them, but I don't think I'll ever think about them again. So uh, take, take what you will from that. I do at some point still want to do this again because there are still a lot of monster romances on my radar. I will probably do it again when the um what is it the, the new katie robert book comes out something with the kraken it was uh, it's a sequel to the dragon's bride it's in that same series um but it's dealing with a kraken and it comes out in october so i know that i want to read that so i might do this again um in october but you probably won't see the vlog until like november december time but I'm probably gonna do this again. So if you have any recommendations for monster romances that you have enjoyed, leave them down in the comments below and I will definitely take a look at them. But yeah, I already have a couple that I know I wanna read at some point. It's just like getting around to it. That is all for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you've enjoyed kind of like the different, <laughs> the different genre reading that I've been doing. Um, I know it's a little bit different than like my typical fantasy reads, but I've just been having a fun time with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to continue to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, that is it for this vlog.